Oh my god, I didn't even think of that. Yeah. But yeah, that's an even better point. What the hell? <laughs> god damn it, Quincy. <sighs> what I? What are you? What are you mad at me now about? This, is, this guy. Unbelievable. <laughs> because you're talking about people being online this late, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, you know, trying to find a good solution, and then it's freaking a Saturday. Yeah. Well. All I right. Tried, I tried to help you. Anyway. Wong taking on Dawn in game two here of this round of eight series in the gold cycle six. So, games are super old now, but oh well, I still haven't seen them. Presumably you haven't either, because nobody gives a crap about gold, really. I uh, do, I do. I do too, for some dumb reason. But it is, it is this one of the best things um, about it is I get to see a lot of teams before they go to Diamond, and then they show up in Diamond, and people are like, who the hell are these guys? I'm like, I know who all of them are, and I know what they do, <laughs> and... Then Breaky and Mini Mag can say really stupid things, and I can laugh. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's that's uh, all. Like every single like, the new teams are formed in gold yeah. most times, and new players are approaching the scene here. I mean you're never gonna see a unknown player uh, approach or uh, joining a diamond team just suddenly anymore. Right. So I think it's fine or uh, fun oh, scouting yeah. out new players, new teams, see who, you know, if there's any. And weird stuff happens in gold players. too. I mean, there's a lot of stuff. There's strategy that get, strategies that get tried out. There are heroes that get picked up that you don't see in Diamond because people are too... Like, if things don't work, if you try a weird strategy and it doesn't work, unless you're Willow Keeper, there's a lot of... Rhapsody. We lost because of that strategy, and it's, yeah, like, it's, easy, to, that, it's easy to blame that. So there's not as much experimentation that's possible in Diamond Division. It's just... If you use an existing strategy that's like, okay, it works, then at least you say, okay, well, we lost, but we can't blame the strategy, so... We, we just yeah, if you lose the game. two series, you're out as well. Yeah. Um, but gold division, we see weird shit sometimes. Uh, it's fun. Like raw. I don't know. Just something we see. Or jungle see swoop raw? blade. We've seen raw. We've actually seen raw in diamond, I believe. Mm, From what team? I don't remember. But I old think BMG we've... ran it a lot in uh, uh, Season two. <laughs> no, I'm talking season or three. Lot, I think I think yeah. we've seen Raw in season three. I don't remember. It's possible we haven't, but we've definitely I've definitely seen Raw in Gold a couple of times. Weird. Yeah, that's the value. That's the that's the fun thing though, because it's 16 teams, and some of them are kind of bad. So you see weird stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. The brutal honesty. <laughs> some of them are kind of bad. These two aren't, which yeah, is nice. I guess it depends on the standards, but compared to diamond teams, they are kind of bad in that yeah. sense. Uh, Some of them. Also, are. I think that yeah, next patch or next uh, cycle, I'm gonna keep a close eye on gold as well because this is like there's a new major balance patch that just uh, hit us, and True. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of you know new strategies, new things going around, and I want to right. see uh, the team's creativity, see what's working out. So. Aren't uh, you playing gold too? No, he's in diamond. No. Man, I'm not following that. You were in gold last cycle, right? No, no. diamond. <laughs> then who moved up from last cycle to diamond? Dawn and... Hey, hey, hey. Right. Oh my hey. god. I'm sorry. Hey. But that doesn't mean anything because both, you know what I mean, both can drop to hey. lose a bracket and win a bracket and all that kind of stuff, so... Hey. True, true, true. Let's just say Dawn and Iwag. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, but it doesn't mean anything. Yeah, I mean, it I means mean, something. these two teams can face each other and no, and then one can go to lose a bracket and one can go to win a bracket and make a face again and all that kind of stuff. It's not. Doesn't really. It doesn't really. It's it's not the biggest deal either because yeah. people are probably well aware of the result of the cycle. But yeah. anyway, right. uh, I don't see what's ride my rocket at least that I can say. No, you can't. <laughs> Why? Why are you spoiling anything? <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Our other cool caster wanted to know, and like I just, you know, gave him, gave him the information. Then put it in like Skype chat. Okay. There's okay. other ways I'm to sorry. communicate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this guy, such I a I, I blame him the six for asking me the questions. How many? I can't. But I can't I'm like resist. entirely we sure say, we've had this conversation before, too. Just we can say learn. BMG is in gold next cycle because they dropped down. We know that. Yeah, we Who know else that. dropped down, Diamond? Um. Ogre. Yeah, it was okay. that makes okay. sense. It makes sense it would be Ogre. I got it. Um, yeah, so assuming BMG is ticketed for gold, we'll see if they actually show up. Um, what does that mean? They're not going to play. That's what it means. Well, Is that like a rumor going on? No, it's not a rumor. It's a fact. 
Have they, uh, they've, 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 they've more or less confirmed that. Yeah, Zoe and I, that, we were actually playing in that game against KGE, and we happened to snipe KGE in a mid wars, which was hilarious. And uh, I was curious as yeah. to see what the BMG's plans were, and it, the intimation seemed to be that they're uh, they're kind of done. Just too bad, but I don't know. It oh, wasn't that it wasn't great. Less competition yeah. For me, well, it was pretty embarrassing <laughs> for them. To be fair, <laughs> like, that shouldn't have happened. Uh, but they faced really good teams, though. They did. Like, really that's, good teams. that's the best part is they went from winning a cycle to going to going to gold in two cycles. Like that's kind of crazy. Diamond is interesting. A lot of fun stuff that's going on. But uh, we're we're like most of the way through this draft. So at some point we probably t- start talking about this game. Tepes Parasite, the first two fans from Moats. Control from Swiftblade get taken up by Labyrinth. So I think hugely crazy on either side there. That doesn't mean that the Ophelia gets picked up by Dawn. So Iceland Gogo gonna get his hands on his favorite hero. And uh, Legion's so going to pick up Kraken, Magmas, and Glacius, so the two most common strength initiators, as well as stealing that one away from Labyrinth, so he's likely going to be playing the Gauntlet. We're obviously going to the hands of Yugo Bick, who also likes that hero a lot, so... Good stuff on both sides. Second stage of bands is Chipper Bubbles and Madman, so let Dr. Pulser and Torture get taken out by Dawn, so... Support, uh, and two carries for the Hellborn team, and some more initiator suicide types for the Legion team. Ah... <sighs> Why is Hellborn banning her- carries? Mm. Because Legion team is gonna pick up carry. So are they. <laughs> and Legion have first pick out of the second main stage. Yeah, maybe they have some kind of plan. Like, they could also go for a very offensive lineup since they already got a Rhapsody and Ophelia. For example, a Keeper and a Soul Reaper. You know? That strategy, right? No, what? but they're not gonna do that though. I'm, I, what strategy? We're not giving away anything, any strategies. Okay. There's no strategy about that. It's fine. Um, yeah, sorry, I was, I was mildly distracted by Twitch chat with the is this live question, which is always hilarious. Always good. Okay. No. The game itself is a replay, as you can tell by the replay on the right side, and it was played a very long time ago, which is fine, and the cast is live, so. It is live, and it's also not. That's how this works. It's very confusing for some people. Wait, are we alive? We're dead. No. I thought we were doing a replay. That's what I thought too. Are you do- not doing a replay? <laughs> oh, whatever. Okay, Chronos. I like it. Chronos is good. Chronos is good. I think it's alright, but I'm not sure if I like it. We don't it's see enough public Chronos. Lacey, short lane. I like Chronos against that. Yeah, but I mean, look at what the hell they have in their team. Like, they have a Gauntlet and a Rhapsody. I just don't see that Kronos is doing very well with them. Like, I want to see big AoE ultimates or uh, something that lines up well with this ultimate in the late game or mid game or something like that. Like a Magmus, for example, instead of them Gauntlet. Like, right now, I just feel like they're gonna ulti and then what? Like, when Kronos mm-hmm. ultimates, what's gonna happen? Like, what can the rest of the team do? No, I don't care. You're looking they at this can't all. Get in there. You're looking at this all wrong. I like. You're looking at this all wrong. First they of all, need that soul stealer. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, first of all, Time to Die is a very good Chronos player, so there's some potential for stuff. And secondly, his name is Time to Die, and he's been playing Chronos. What? So, it's very important. Ta- okay. His name is Time to Die. One of Chronos' unit unit oh, acknowledgements is Time to Die. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a bit slow. <laughs> It's me the Clank's last pick for Pro Busk, so it's fun too. Here was reintroduced in the competitive scene before this cycle, and we've been seeing him picked up every so often as a result. I don't think he actually got fixed. They just sort of took him out and put him back in. Right? Like, did he get fixed? What do you mean fixed? You mean the thing that he can't fly out of the map anymore? Yeah. Yeah, that's fixed. Okay. That's fixed, yeah. I'm not sure if he received any nerfs. No, I don't think nope, he no nerfs. Just, just that. And then they made him tournament. I really like Hellborn's draft a lot. Me too. Tanks goes even better with Kronos than uh, Soul Sealer. I agree. And, I don't uh, know. <laughs> you guys agree, I don't. I think it's bad. Well, what don't you like about their draft? I don't think it synergizes that well. Like I, I see the reason or like what they're trying to accomplish, but I just see that I don't think the Gauntlet is a perfect fit for this lineup, and I don't think that Ophelia is necessarily the best one either. I just feel like they have 
like they don't have enough solid stuff like they don't have enough solid stuns like they can initiate with the Chronos ultimate but as long as the Chronos ultimate is down this team can accomplish nothing that's eh. kind of my feeling I, I, I get what you're saying like I, I definitely see that side of it I feel like this is a lineup that's built around Clanks Clanks is a hero yeah. that does not have any CC and a, he has a craft and damage output Ophelia is going to provide some CC assuming she gets some decent spawns Rhapsody's got a nice stun. Gauntlet can lock people down, bring people back, and then there's Kronos and his ultimate. A lot of this is going to be based on team fighting and keeping Clanks in the back, and anything is keeping Clanks alive. And they're going to be very, very good at that. Between Ophelia and Rhapsody and his hawk, Clanks is just never going to die. So, if they can shut down Clanks, the entire Hellborn draft will fall apart. But yeah. if he gets going, then I think this is going to be a really hard team to stop. I don't see why they would want to have Magmus in the mid lane instead of the top lane in that case though. Like if they're yes. gonna man up, I think that Magmus is better oh. than the Kraken because they're never gonna be able to kill the Clanks with a Kraken. <laughs> I don't understand that. And Kraken's also way better against Gauntlet than Magmus. Yep. So I feel I like feel once again laning phases. Yeah, I was uh, about to say. Really this stupid. is weird. Once again, once again, they're doing something, something wrong with their lane. I mean, it's just going to be the same freaking story again. I mean, now they're up against a pseudo tri lane, but this time they're only two instead of being three, like last time. And if they're not, if it's not working out when they are three, like how the hell is it going to work out when they are two? And they don't even have a single stun. Why didn't they bring Glacius up there if this is what they wanted to do? Yeah, that's a good point as well. They could have done that, but I think it's just because they want to play it passive with a. Invis or something. I don't know. Revenant's real dead, so... Always fun when you're like, boy, this is a really bad plan, and then immediately see that opinion validated. I mean, there's just and only why Revenant didn't they have do. a warpath? Or... I, I don't they know. They didn't even get countered. They didn't have a ward there for Ophelia. Why would you man out without a ward? I don't know. I kind of blame the support for that. For because he still has two wards on his hero. Yeah. At 128. And he also doesn't have any his skills. I, like well, I, that's just, not. He knew Invis wasn't gonna matter there. I think it would have. He wasn't yeah, unlocked. It would be fine. It would have been 100 yeah. fine. I don't know. Once they once they went on him, like Rhapsody had a rev ward, so like if he skilled that's Invis, true. Invis himself right there. But force him uh, to drop the rev ward then at the very least. That as well, and the shroud gives movement speed, so it might have been able to get away from the Minotaur. At least try is my point. Like that, maybe it doesn't work, but come on. It, it doesn't give him move, move, movement speed, man. The third spell on revenue. It doesn't no, give him any movement. Doesn't. But they killed they killed Gauntlet mid, which is good. But. Yeah. Magma still doesn't have a hatchet, so he's not going to be able to farm here. But if Revenant sits there, it's, it's okay. This is what they should have done from the beginning, without feeding Bloodless Top. It doesn't say it gives me movement speed. If it you have doesn't. ulti. If you have I'm ulti. pretty sure it does. If you have doesn't? ulti. Uh, okay, if you have ulti. Out top oh, lane, okay. they're going to kill Crush 1 again. Um, yeah, he so is, right now, nothing. He's too far behind now. This is bad, like... Suicide Kraken, essentially, is what's happening right now. Which is... Yeah. Not a good idea. I still... I still have to find somebody who thinks that Suicide Kraken is a good thing, and yet... We see it all the time, so it's really confusing for me, but... <laughs> it can work in with, uh, situations when you're one versus one. Yeah. Uh, I can see it working, but if you're up against uh, support, it's just no way. And under no circumstances should they have thought this was going to be a 1v1 lane. Like, yeah. that's just, that was not going to happen. <laughs> I mean, maybe Rhapsody Mill, but like, that's, no. That'd be weird. So they they could do that as well, it, I guess. It, it could have uh, happened, but it, it shouldn't, it wasn't likely. They're about to kill Magnus Mid. Yep. Kronos wants I don't know this. what they're waiting on, though. Are they waiting on the Kronos? He doesn't Probably have Probably waiting for either. the fact that he doesn't have a hook on Gauntlet. But I don't know. 
That's probably true, but too. Oh, oh, that's and so Skeleton true. King, real good stuff. And they're gonna slow him and lock him down. The lava surge away, though, and yeah, he's gonna run away. Has a haste rune activated as well, so... Four-man gank in the middle lane is unsuccessful. He had hook in two seconds. They should've waited. They would've yeah. been a definite kill with hook. I think it was a little bit more, though. I think it was ten seconds. No, uh, no, 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 not at the start, but I think it was like five seconds or something left at least when they initiated. Wasn't it? I don't know, I just feel like they should never try to kill Magmus in the mid. With, like, they should just be focusing on farming, because it's not gonna happen, especially not when Revenant is behind him with Nimbus. And Gauntlet getting a little aggressive here onto the Magmus, who's slob surge forward onto him. Gauntlet's like, I'm gonna hook you into the tower, buddy. Oh, Magmus, pretty damn low, gonna use the bottle sips to get himself back up. Why isn't Kronos staying bottom though? Is he that afraid of getting killed? I guess so. I feel like he should be able to do something against this Glacius. Yeah, I mean, Glacius can't do anything with him. I mean, it's a puppet monster that's scary, but sure. I still feel like he should be able to get experience, or at least, I mean, force Glacius to box him out. Mm -hmm. Because right now, Glacius is free to stack as much as he wants and roam mid as well. Like, he, they're never going to get a kill in mid. I mean, no. he should realize that, so he's just wasting time. And this time is so damn... Uh, oh, what? Now Gauntlet, gonna use the hook there as well as the Infernal Instability, there's no reason gonna kill the Revenant though, actually Chrono's gonna come back in and now the Essence Shroud is gone, so one more attack will finish him off, Lava Surge, not gonna be enough, Catman Chomp, Stomp gets the kill. Mm, I'm ahead again. <laughs> yeah, we probably should've realized that. Hook, Ooh. nicely done, onto Huge Magnus, he does her. Lava Surge away, and he will be fine. Actually, Gauntlet got sent back to base. Kinda of funny. I like that. Now Kraken is missing out on an entire creep wave for some reason, I don't know. Maybe he doesn't like to kill creeps. Maybe he's a pacifist. I don't know. Both teams trying to gank mid when they all they should be doing is just focusing on farming. I mean, they could let Rhapsody stand behind going into the mid as well. I mean, that would work, but Rhapsody or Ophelia should just focus on farming. And both short laners are doing that. Probusk is doing much better though. 450 GPM for him compared to just 340 for a different guy on the top of the from the bottom lane, so. I don't know why, but I guess. Uh, that's true. I guess. CS4, yeah. 40, 43 for planks, yeah, so that's really the main difference. So, yeah, a lot of that gold lead is tied up in a 3 to 1 heroical advantage. In general, the CS4 is pretty even for both teams, it seems like. I mean, there's only really five heroes in this game farming, if you look at the goal out yeah. of ten. <laughs> Everybody else is sub-150. <laughs> Not great. <laughs> Not great. Gold efficiency low. Creep efficiency low. <laughs> Kraken is level 5 now, and he's on his way to get level 6 as well. I mean, Kronos is still level 4. I feel like Kraken should be lower level. Yep. Yeah, actually Once is. again, Gauntlet with a nice hook. Roaming. Doesn't yeah, matter though, I know the hook is wasted. Or like, not wasted, but like, I don't think he can kill Magmus, can he? No. Do you think yeah. he can kill him? No. Oh. Gauntlet From that blast. HP, yeah. Maybe. Maybe with From Gauntlet. full HP, no. Especially not because Steam Bat disjoints all, so he, he has to have a Steam Bat. Oh, he doesn't have it? No, yeah. he's Jola mode. I would absolutely love a Steam Bat, especially yeah. since he didn't even get a hatchet, I don't know. You have to take at least one level in it. The gauntlet hooks are pretty. I mean, what's that? The gauntlet yeah. what? The gauntlet, gauntlet hooks is are max. Oh. Is this you? Is this what you normally see on gauntlet in competitive games? Four points in hook, one point in Q. Uh, yeah. Or not always, but I. It's, it's pretty much the same damage. Anyway, really he's gonna get I've his crack and released on him. His hook is down as he just used it to scout the ancients. He's gonna lose, uh, use the infernal instability to try to do something in crack and not gonna be able to get a kill. Magma's looking for lava surge. Gonna find it on a gauntlet. No way he's getting out of this one. Question is, will they get anything else out of it? No, they won't. Labyrinth. He was being sent back as well, but uh, too much time. So. I guess it's not that common, but uh, more and more people realize that it's actually better to get the hook because it the has range. that range. Yeah. As long as you hit oh, yeah. it, you know, it's pretty much the same damage as... Uh... Well, you get plus 40 per level for the, the hook and plus 60 per level. Actually, you get plus 80 at the level 3 for Q. So, it's a lot more damage with your Q, but yeah. 
I, I didn't know the range increase. Right, yeah, and in a one v two especially, it's gonna be a lot more helpful for guys. Yeah, think. yeah. I don't think you should max out the hook, but I think you should get uh, level two at least in the hook every time. And they do manage to lock what down Magnus. Uh, I'm not sure how. He had lava surge up. Skeleton King. And, and good yeah. Rhapsody's Staccato's too. So they just had just enough damage to uh, to be able to do that. Clanks is a Thunderclaw at nine minutes. Already? I don't know, they just don't have any plan, like right now in the Hellborn team, like they're not moving around. If you pick a Revenant support, you need to get ganks going all the time, and you haven't even killed the clanks once. I mean, all you have to do is go up there and, yeah, all you have to do is go up there and uh, invest the Kraken, and voila, you got a kill on your carry, but like, nothing is happening. You confuse me very much. What? Yeah, you said Hellborn team. <laughs> you said Hellborn team, I'm like, I think the Hellborn team has a plan, it's a pretty good plan, it's, clanks is gonna win the game. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I mean, the Legion team. Yeah, I know. It, yeah, it, yeah. it made sense when you started talking about it. It was like, what? Hellborn's doing fine. Hellborn is doing really good, uh, as for now. They shouldn't focus on killing this freaking Magnus in the mid lane, though. They should be significantly higher GPM on Ophelia, I feel, and they should start pushing the top towers. But, uh. I don't think Ophelia just... should be a higher Let's GPM see. at all. She's, uh. She top lane, they will kill the clanks, or the Kraken. 290, and, and she, yeah, sure, she's been getting a lot of kills and stuff and been involved, but nearly 300 gold per minute on Ophelia is really good. And yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's really good, don't take me wrong. I mean, that I would be really happy with Negative if I were playing sure. Ophelia, but I still think that under the circumstances, I think he could have been even higher. Especially when you have a Rhapsody who can, you know, aid you in the woods non stop because he hasn't been able to do anything, or he hasn't done anything else than stacking for Ophelia and helping him clear stacks. I... So Puppet has bought the Steam stuff and made it obvious that he's going Shroud first. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't like it. I mean, because when you do that, you give him six minutes to prepare. Like, six yeah. minutes to buy dust and res. Final lane Rhapsody gonna be diving a tier 2 tower here, trying to distract people for long enough to get her team out of that. We'll be successful. So Hugo Bick suiciding for the good of his team. But it's hard enough for Puppet to outfarm Clanks, and when Clanks has a sub 10 minute Thunderclaw, like that's just it's gonna be never impossible. Gonna him. It's not yeah. ever. That was the first time in the game that they used the Invis on Revenant for a gank, which is what they should be doing at all times. Like he shouldn't be doing anything else than ganking. He should just be going around all the time, you know, setting up kills with the Invis. They do have Puppet's dead. Lineup, yeah, he is. Chrono's gonna drop a Chrono Field, and Planks is there. Time Dying actually, up get, actually ends up getting the kill, which is just fine, because he's still at sub-150 GPN, so he really needs some money. I pick up Red Boots there at 12 minutes. But Probusk, 500 GPM at, uh, at 12 minutes into the game. And he's working on Are they trying stone. to rush a portal key on uh, Magmus? Oh my god, Magnus, I really hope not. He just blind stunned. Did you see that? He just blind stunned into the hard camp for help on side without vision. Well, he has a regen room. Yeah, he has a regen room, but he was like 80% HP and he just blind stunned up the hill. Like, if one or two players would have been here, he would have been dead. Just Maybe he so was risky. in. Anyway, Clanks is going to be in some trouble. He's going to be really Kraken and the eruption on his face. And the blessing not going to be enough to save him. Now, Kraken could be in some trouble. His charge is down. More attacks will finish him off, so that ends up being a one for one in favor of the Legion side as they do take the opposing team's core. But, oh, Magmus actually could be in some trouble too, as a gang squad of Rhapsody and Gauntlet are trying to cut him off, but the Warder site will spot him and his directional change. And now they're going to have to be able to bait out the Lava Surge. What's he doing now? are there, Gauntlet Blast on it, and the hook, they will get the kill, so nice burst and lockdown. So. Damn words, yo. Why is he going for straight up freaking Porky? Like, why didn't? He, why doesn't he have steam boots? You think if he had steam boots there, he would have lived? No. Not sure. I don't think so. But like, it, still, it like, just, I mean, yeah. It's just in general. Yeah. Like these kind of situations, like can occur, for example. Right, Puppet has Shroud and Revenant has Invis. They need to run three man ganks and kill the planks. I don't even see why it matters why he has a shroud. Like, it doesn't whatsoever. I mean, they already have a revenant, so right. they can do the exact same thing. Yeah. Like, him having a shroud is like, just, 
like that stupid for him to go first item. But he has it, so he needs to use it now. Yeah, either way, I'm pretty sure he's gonna go for a gank as well. But he like he could have done that like the entire game. Yeah. They should counter that ward. They should know that that's warden. Um, that big hill. No, it's like it's Shrine. called that. Uh, yeah, that Hellborn has the ward up. Yeah. On Legion side. That Just... should be countered, always. This is frustrating because, like I've made this point before, but Indivis is something that the more you get of it, the worse individual instance each individual instance is. And you have a team with Steam Bath and Revenant and now Puppet Shroud. It's like, look at the hell, look at the middle yeah. lane. We got War Rev Wards just sitting there because they know that that's what's gonna happen. So it's like, what do you think is gonna? And Chrono Field reveals too, right? So. Yes. Yeah. What's your plan? Uh, uh, I'm not too sure. Like, they're not gonna be able to win any fights as long as Sophia got that uh, ultimate and Astra of hers. I mean, they won't lose any team fights. Simply as that. Uh, what they could lack is some damage output on the Hellborn team. That is, uh, which they right. don't have. So they need to be careful when they. I think are... they have great damage. I'm not gonna lie. Well, if they before... can execute their comp. Uh, they don't have any damage. Not so far. Chronos yeah, deals absolutely no damage. Yeah, he does. Ophelia doesn't deal too much damage. The Rhapsody Gauntlet, Rhapsody, and some. Clanks are gonna deal enough. I think at this point, Clanks is still a little bit weak, but in five to ten minutes, Clanks is gonna be a large enough source of damage that won't be a problem. And he's gonna have a null stone before 17 minutes. Yeah. Fine. I mean, even right now, he's actually he's level two ultimate, which is nice, and he's got a Thunderclaw, which is a decent source of damage, but doesn't have like a ton. His attack speed is good, it's not great. If he gets, at this rate of farm, he's gonna get another major item in 10 minutes. And at that point, I think he's gonna be level 16. He's gonna be basically crushing people. Basically. Yeah, I mean, if they give him too much space now, he's just gonna take off. Uh, they need to do something as soon as they get the Magnus portal key and the Kraken portal key. Kraken actually getting better farm than Magnus, who had free farm in the mid. Yeah, that's weird. I mean, it is impressive that he's managed to pick up his farm that much because he did die a bunch in the top lane as well. So 262 GPM for Crush One is quite strong. Yeah. And once they have Speaking PKs, they players. can crush the flanks. Speaking of underrated players, I think Crush One is also an underrated suicide player. I just want to put that out there. He did really good on Geomancer last game, even though he's 1v1 on Swift. I just think he's good. I think he's solid. I've seen him screw up a lot. Really? Yeah. He's a he's a very good laner. I'm not gonna lie, he's a very good laner. But uh, it just uh, did, like afterwards, I mean, you're never gonna win Sick. any competitive lane or games by just being good at lane. So I mean, it's it's gonna be come down to the decision making. And in the last game, I mean, sure he played well with in the beginning with Geo Monster, yeah. but after that, I don't, didn't see any good plays with the ultimate, for example. I mean, he screwed it up a lot. Uh, so it goes both ways. I mean. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I agree. Okay, so they are like they're making it a little bit obvious. Oh, the reward just ran out in the mid lane, by the way. So now Kraken could go in with that invis. Oh, what a hook from Gauntlet, and that's gonna crush the puppet Crack, master. Kraken. Kraken ultimate not gonna hit anybody. Eruption does catch the Gauntlet. That'll be one kill. We'll see if Kraken can get out of this, but he's gonna get spotted out by Clanks, and Clanks is like, "Hello, my good friend." Gets charged up the cliff. Not that big of a deal. Clanks should be able to finish this kill off. As a meantime, Glacius also falls in the middle lane. Magma's trying to run away. He should be fine. Skeleton Kings are down in Rhapsody. Maybe you don't want to be doing this so much as, yeah. Apparently he does. Uh, he's just going Joel over. Like yeah. Clanks wants this kill onto Magmus. Might get it, but apparently doesn't want to keep chasing. And now Magmus thinking I can find another lava surge because he can, but it's not going to matter. He does to get the tier one tower in the middle lane. I know it's a replay, but is that still Caster's Curse? Because as soon as I talk about Crash 1, he goes in and misses the, <laughs> the Kraken ultimate. <laughs> Completely misses it. He got a Skeleton King now, so... Sorry. The Kraken all. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but also like, you know, the Shroud and Puppet Master, like... Didn't see the point of picking that up when you have a Revenant. I mean, like, he's not gonna be farming fast with that, so... I mean... Probask is doing an excellent job in keeping his gold. 
per minute, super high, 550. I wouldn't be surprised if it hits 6, 700 in the next 5 to 10 minutes if he just keeps going at this speed. That should be pretty easy. And then we'll kill Congor, so token on Clanks. Only has 1200 health right now, more than 1400 when he switches to Strength Steam Boots. And gonna be very difficult to take down at this point. Working on Shrunken Head, which I like it. I don't have any physical damage right now. And they won't for a while. Well, he got he, like he got the manor sustainability now, but also and he got the farmer option with the uh, Funny Claw, yep. as well as his passive. So as long as he keeps, st or like as long as he doesn't die, he's gonna carry his team to a victory. And to be honest, I feel like with the shrunken head, I don't think they can kill him because I don't think they can either. Newworth's blessing is gonna save him if he gets jumped, and then he'll get a shrunken off, and the hawk, and he'll just leave. Mm, yeah, I guess that depends on how many there are, but yeah, it's getting to the point in the game where they're not going to be able to kill him. And I mean, if they haven't been able to kill him uh, by the 20-minute mark, they have been able to do it once, but like, they're not making use of the Revenant in this, unfortunately, right. so... Time to run away from the game. To be fair though, to be fair though, they're not making use of any of their spells, it's not no, like no, it's no, that's they're not making use of anything. The portal keys. The shroud. The ulti. Not... The shroud. He's done nothing with the shroud. Yeah. He bought it and then has done ne next to nothing. Jugobik is also doing a really good job uh, at placing those rev wards yeah, wherever they are. Uh... But yeah, uh, Magma is going for the up. ghost marchers now as well. Off the portal. They're gonna jump on top That's of Kraken awful. here. We'll hook him right back in. Magma's nothing he apparently wants to do about that. And if they get caught, now he's really far away from his team and he can't do anything as the rest of the Hellborn side is trying to chase down the Legion team. Puppet Master will be spotted by the Ophelia minions, but has a shroud available and he shouldn't die. Yeah, so. <laughs> Free pick onto Kraken. As Vetch is in the, as the, in the Magmas, it's just like, I don't know what he's doing behind the tower. It's just kind of there. <laughs> no. Um, I would really like to see some more dust picked up by Labyrinth on the Gauntlet and the Chronos as well. Like, it's 180 gold, 200 now with the patch, but like, it, it's nothing, and every, every initiator should have it, especially when you're up against three Invis heroes. And one of them is a Revenant. Yeah. And, I mean, I. Anyway, Gauntlet will hit the hook on the Magnus. But if he had dust, he would have probably been able to kill him. Word of Rev, it's about a Word of Rev from the Legion side. Also got to give Yuga big props for the Ursa skin on his, uh, on his wards. Well done. Clanks hit the 600 GPM mark. Give him another 5 minutes and he's going to be hitting 6700 almost. Oh. Speaking of that, he has killed a different guy on the Puppet Master. Completely missed that, but oh well. Another Rev Ward goes down from Malborn team. <laughs> They're just everywhere. And this Invis does nothing! Yeah. I don't think, to be fair though, I don't think there's an item he could have bought to make a play. Just because just of get help. the drive. Help. <laughs> Whispering Helm? Yeah. Not Helm of Black Legion. Yeah. Literally, he could have gone for a Helm first, but yeah, like I said, I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, they're not making use of their spells, unfortunately. Or like their heroes. They're not playing it the right way. Uh, if you have two supports, you can't sit idle during the landing phase and wait for the enemy team to yeah. you know, get their items. You're gonna get out yeah. Because Ophelia is gonna outfarm you, like, like big time. Yeah, you should have yeah. said Magnus Glacius Revenant Pass. And. Brought wards and placed them before Ophelia kills you. Well, Kraken and to charge Clanks in. He's got a token of life, of course, so he's gonna die here, but he'll respawn. Actually, already uses Hawk, which is a bit of an issue, but in the background, they will nice wraps the ultimate, gonna save him, let him go away, and the ultimate from Kronos, they get the hook back onto the Revenant, that's gonna be a pretty easy kill. Word of Sight, or Word of Rev, excuse me, does die because Hugo Bick actually placed it within tower range, and that was a bit of a mistake, but. Oh well, token down, they get a quick on the Revenant. Eruption getting charged out in the background, that's gonna be on to two. Not really enough damage though, and they're gonna counter on the Magnus pretty easily and kill him. Nothing too much that Kraken and Glaciers can do about that, especially with no Kraken ultimate available. And where the where hell is Puppet? Puppet? Monster yeah. he, does. he was farming for us or something. I was like, I just realized that. He wasn't Where's there Puppet? for the entire time. 
Well, Word of Rev goes down once know. again. Kraken gonna charge in the Clanks, but Null Stone activated. There goes the Shrunken. Yeah, nothing you're gonna do about that. Clanks is just like, come at me, bro. And we're seeing CC votes being called here, and I wouldn't be surprised to see that one go through. Relatively really quickly. There's, I mean, there's just nothing that, that Wog can do about this. And we'll put the Freeze up. And Gauntlet Hook not gonna do too much. But there goes Kronos right back in. On the Glacius, she gets ports back, ported back, which is why. Pop Master gonna be spotted by the Rev Ward, so the Invis really does nothing in there, calling GG's in chat now. I don't know if that actually means anything, as opposed to... Probably not. The, uh... I don't know. Previous okay, attempts to... Oh, well, they paused. They tried to CC like twice before, and they still haven't done it. So I don't know if the GG actually does anything. But they oh, probably CC it in the post. Uh, yeah, they did. That's why. Okay, that's why everybody's gone. Okay, so just time to disconnect from the game, I guess. So that's what happens. It's the only disadvantage of auto skip pause. Every so often, that'll happen. Um, game two going to dawn. They will move on in the round of eight to the round uh, winners bracket semifinals. And Wog will actually drop down to the loser's bracket round two? Yeah, something like that. I think it's round two. Yes, you lose back round two. Uh, so both of these teams still alive and gold cycle six, but obviously Dawn in a far superior position. You really don't want to get knocked down to loser's bracket this early on because it doesn't really bode well for your chances. Um, Dawn just a couple of series victories away from making it right back to Diamond Division. So final thoughts, Snowy? First this time. Um, well, Dom step up their game in level two, or in level two, in game number two, um, playing something that mm, they were well a little bit more comfortable with. I still think that Chrono's pick could have been replaced with something else because I didn't feel like it synergized that well with their lineup. But other than that, I think it once again comes down to uh, the fact that. Uh, IWOG just decided to uh, go for some kind of offensive lane once again and then screw up the lanes. Uh, not much more to it, like Dawn just playing it pretty perfect, like not taking any unnecessary risks. Yeah, pretty much it. That's pretty much what happened. And definitely looking better in game two than they did in game one. A little bit more together and uh, coordinated, Probus having a more Probus like game. But uh, in the six, yeah. anything else to say? I think Dawn was just the better team, smarter, better. Pretty much, just completely outplayed them, outdrafted them, outlaned them. I don't More think experienced. That the the first yeah the first game they competed, but the second game they didn't really stand a chance. Yeah, and well, that's not hugely surprising. Wog, one of the better gold division teams, but still very much a gold division team, I think, at this point. And uh, Dawn, sort of on the fence. They're they're. A, Solid diamond high tier gold team. Um, you can certainly see them. Why they would bounce back and forth, but uh, they they're better yeah. than than the gold cycle six round of eight. They're they're just a better team than that. So um, not hugely surprised to see them move on. But uh, I don't think that Wog will be done by any means. They are also a good team, and I would expect them to stay alive in the loser bracket for at least a little while. And will they make it back to diamond? I'm not optimistic, mostly because I already know I already know who makes it back to diamond, but. Uh, so now I'm doing spoilers. Uh, but in general, that's <laughs> just the kind of team they are. So that'll do it for this series. Don moving on. And uh, thanks, guys, for joining us. We'll 